Brian Fisher, folks, don't forget about the contest to win a $50 gift card to supercichlids.com. You have to like the video that I released on Saturday, link in the description. You have to be a subscriber to Michael's Fish Room on YouTube, and you have to like the Super Cichlid Facebook page on Facebook. fishy folks happy water change Wednesday today is actually Tuesday for me but uh, we're getting a little bit of a snowstorm here right now there's about an inch of ice sleet freezing rain and snow on the ground and they're calling for anywhere from 1 to 18 inches so uh, I'm home anyway I want to talk about the NEC the Northeast Council Convention where I was this weekend uh, I got there Friday morning pretty early about eight, as you know, if you watch the video, I left the house around four, uh, quarter to four in the morning, and I drove up to Connecticut from my home in South Jersey. And um, if the first day Friday was slow for sales and for you know just people coming to the show because it was Friday, so the only people that were there really were people that um, either were off for Friday, and that's the only day they could go, or they uh, were there for the whole weekend. And most of those people that were there for the whole weekend weren't gonna buy fish on Friday and then keep them in their room in case something happened. They'd buy them Sunday. So I did meet a couple of nice fans and uh, on Friday and I did sell a little bit of, a little, a little fish, a couple shirts, but overall uh, my expenses, including the hotel, gas, tolls, food, I pretty much broke even. So from a financial standpoint, broke even. From a professional standpoint though, I think I came out a winner. Um, I met and I got uh, pretty friendly with Lisa and Martin from Super Cichlids. Um, you know, you guys know I'm the honest YouTube channel guy. I mean, there are others out there, but a lot of people say, hey, we love you because you're honest and I, I put out a request or a question on Facebook a couple weeks ago. Where's the best place, the cheapest place to buy Rapashi? Evan, uh, Inquisitive Fish Guy IFG, messaged me personally and said, Bro, use my promo code, Hat Nation, uh, which expired at the end of February, um, for 15% off. And that's what I did. And I ordered it Friday afternoon and I got it Monday. I might have gotten it Tuesday. I'm pretty sure I got it Monday. But, um, and in the little package of the Rapashi was, you know, like a hundred different samples of food and a little note from Lisa, the owner of Super Cichlids that said, sorry for the delay. And I'm like, that's awesome. But there was no delay. And so, um, I, I did a video basically that said, hey, order from Super Cichlids, great service, blah, 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 local company. Not because she asked me to, not because I got a great discount from her, but because I was honest in saying there was great customer service there. Long story short, she came to my local fish club about a week later, and she was supposed to bring me some rapashi there, and our signals got crossed, and she didn't realize. Um, but she was super nice there, had like a thousand samples to give out to anyone that wanted, and uh, then I, I was at NEC, and she was there with her husband and her two wonderful little girls, and, uh, you know, I, for the whole weekend, we kind of, we didn't hang out, but during the show, you know, we were, I was at her booth, her or Martin was at my booth, and we were talking, and, and I really sort of got to know them, and uh, they're some of my favorite people now in this hobby. Now, granted, I've only known them a short time. They could be freaks for all I know, but I still like them. So, where was I? Super Cichlids, Lisa Martin, super people, cute as button little girls. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some projects with them, perhaps a fish room tour, and doing additional shows with them, because that makes it fun. Um, what else? I met Zach, uh, who works for the company that runs the Aquatic Experience. So he talked a little bit about that and why it's in New Jersey now. Um, I met 
and I don't remember his name, but an Australian dude who lives in Canada who sells books. He was really cool. Um, I met Greg Jones, the YouTuber who, I gotta tell you, when I see someone on YouTube, I assume that's how their personality is in real life, other than some people that I know. Um, and he is, he's as calm as he is on his YouTube channel, explains things, does things, the way he talks, exactly the same as in real life. Kind of like me. Um, I didn't really interview him because every time I had my, my camera out, which is my phone, uh, he had customers at his booth and I didn't want to bother him. I'm sure I could have just said, hey Greg, you want to do a quick little thing? And he would have said, yeah, but I didn't want to bother him or be one of those guys. Um, I also met Jason from San Francisco Bay Foods. They also do um, Ocean Nutrition Foods. And uh, he was a really nice guy, a lot of energy also. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do some things together. Um, so from a professional standpoint, it was a good show for me. From a business standpoint, professional meaning, you know, relationships and stuff like that. From a business standpoint, again, I didn't make really any money. I pretty much broke even. Um, I did eat at some really good breakfast spots because breakfast in the hotel was like, I don't know, it was like $25 or something stupid for a crappy buffet. So I just did what I do when I travel for work. I yelped it and I, I had two really good restaurants I went to. The first one was Nutella French Toast. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mike, you went to this fish convention there was an auction. You probably came home with a ton of fish. I didn't. I did come home with um, some L129 false zebra plecos, which are in this tank back here, which you can't see because they hide. Um, but they're pretty cool. Oh, it looks like I had fry in here. The glass bellies finally dropped some fry. Anyway, um, that's really all I bought. I, I kind of stayed away from buying fish because I, I wanted to see from a business standpoint if I could make money so that being said I didn't make any money but the auction uh, I did film a little bit of the auction I did watch a little bit of the auction in the beginning there were some things going for crazy dollar amounts my buddy super breeder Steve sold two pair of real red-eyed albino full-size adults I think they were like a hundred bucks um, if you saw in the video, there was a breeding pair of koi angels, and they weren't even like high coverage koi, they were just like regular kind of koi angels for 125 that's a lot of money. Um, and there were some other guppies that went for a lot of money too, but. So I sold a couple different strains of guppies. Um, I had a couple of strains of guppies um, in my fish room that I didn't really talk about because I was bringing them to NEC and wanted to see how they did. I bought them from my local fish store, kept them in my uh, my fish room, blah, blah, blah. So I have uh, a couple new strings that are going up on the website, so you should check that out soon. And uh, I, I did enter the guppy breeding contest. I brought a red cobra specifically for that. It's a It was a phenomenal fish. It sold after the... Um, after the contest. I got fourth place for novice, any other tail shape. Like I, I don't I don't breed guppies to follow the rules of the um, International Fancy Guppy Association. So I don't know how that works. I just thought it looked cool. I got fourth place. I don't know. I think there are five entries, so whatever. Um and then I also entered one of my Jarwi Lazuli guppies, the blue small endler size guppies with the scissor tail um, I didn't place in that but the one of the generations before that won second place that was Karen Haas's uh, guppy she's a local fish club member that I kind of know now so overall I had a really good time it was a good experience it was long it was tiring I wish that you know I had someone else in the booth uh, so we each could take breaks, but uh, like I said, overall it was pretty good. Um, in the future, will I do it again? Maybe. Um, 
one of the organizers, I think the person in charge of the vendor room, Nancy, asked me if I would do it again, and I said yes, um, because I did have fun, and I did break even, so I didn't lose money, but then I was thinking maybe next year I'll do the big fish deal down in Maryland, which is usually the week before, and I probably can't do the big fish deal and NEC, you know, either weekend. I probably want to go over to all of my family, so I have to pick one. Um, aquatic experience, I will be there in October. It's in New Jersey. And coming up, we have a fish club auction in April at the North Jersey Club. And then in May, we have the Bucks County, which is my favorite auction. Um, not just because it's cheap to enter bags or lots, but that was the auction where I, they really made me feel like, like I was at home, like part of the club. And that's kind of cool. So I think that's enough of me rambling about the NEC. So um, I do have a surprise new fish in the fish room, which uh, maybe I'll show you next video. And don't forget to enter the contest to win a $50 gift card to Super Cichlids. Check out Lisa at supercichlids.com. Great prices on Northfin and Rapashi and some fancy food from, from uh, Canada that I can't pronounce the lake that the mysis comes from. All right, I'm rambling. Check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. And let me know if you have any questions. michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. See ya.